Now, let's take a look at unvented crawl spaces. In an unvented crawl space, the general rule is to insulate the perimeter walls of the crawl space. This eliminates the need to separately insulate the water pipes and heating ducts. The first step is to insulate the perimeter joists. There are two types, header joists and stringer joists. Header joists run across the ends of the floor joists. Measure and cut small pieces of unfaced insulation to fit this area. Completely fill the spaces enclosed by the subfloor, sill, and floor joists. Then insulate the walls beneath the joists. Using furring strips, nail lengths of standard bats or the wider basement blanket insulation to the sill. Furring strips are used to nail the insulation to the edge of the sill plate. The insulation should be cut long enough to hang down the wall and extend two feet into the crawl space. It can also be installed horizontally in the same manner. Stringer joists run parallel to floor joists. The stringers and the walls beneath them can be insulated in a single step. Simply position the insulation blanket against the underside of the subfloor and staple or nail it directly to the stringer joist. Or the blanket can be attached to the top of the sill and smaller pieces can be wedged between the sill plate and subfloor. This technique takes longer but provides better thermal protection at the joist. As with header joist applications, the insulation on the walls of the crawl space must be long enough to extend about two feet onto the ground cover. Anchor with two by fours laying across the blanket as close to the wall as possible. An alternate way of fastening basement blankets to the walls in crawl spaces is using a Hilti type gun to drive the fasteners into the concrete. In all cases, all pieces of insulation should be tightly butted together. Be sure they fit snugly, without gaps between them. Taping is not usually necessary.